with your girl, Hey Schmitty, and I am so excited to get back into, I always say I'm so excited, but I am. I'm so excited to get back into the Disney Princess Challenge with Ariel here. Um, I don't know. She's just so fun. Like, being an occult princess just makes it so much more fun. Like, look at her. She's having the time of her life right now. Also, it is so dark on my screen. What is this? What is this? A total eclipse? No, it's nothing. It's 7 a.m. Oh, so the sun's not quite up yet. And it's a cloudy day. Let me just change that to sunny for vibe's sake. By the way, guys, comment below too. What is, uh, who's your favorite Disney princess? <laughs> oh gosh, so let me see. Where are we left off? So Ariel... Uh, just turned into a teen last episode. You're kind of going through her life with her dad and her sisters. Oh, oh and we got her to, I wanted her to be at, oh, I'm sorry, we're all in the wrong sister. I wanted her to be at a level 10 singing before she meets Prince Eric because Eric kind of falls in love with her voice first. So that's what I really wanted to get, get really going here. Um, so I'm going to give her singing skill up to uh, level 10. And then I think we'll go meet Prince Eric today. So we're going to find Eric. Uh, Ariel's going to get a little bit more brave with her exploring because previously she has not moved very far away from her father's castle. So I think that's what we're going to get into. The farthest she's gone is the buoy and the island. That is the farthest out she has gone, which mermaid-wise... That it's not that far. So I think Ariel's getting restless. She wants to do more exploring. She's particularly interested in humans. So I think that's more of what she wants to do today. So why don't we go ahead and have Ariel go a little bit on a journey here today. So we'll have her swim here. You know what? It's the morning. Her father's busy. He has royal duties. His sisters are all at singing practice. Um, so I think Ariel's taking this moment to kind of sneak away. <gasps> oh my God. Also, I forgot. We're supposed to get familiar with a couple more sims today. I, out of your guys' requests, I have made a few more sims for Ariel's story, and I think you guys will all be very excited about. I googled it and also, okay. Golden trains appear randomly on a monetized streamer's channel in lieu of regular hype train. Viewers will receive the golden emote regardless of what level they contribute at, so as long as the hype train reaches at least level one. Ooh. So did we get it? Because <laughs> I know it just ended. Great work. Supporters can enjoy exclusive Golden Kappa emote for the next 24 hours. Well, enjoy those guys. <laughs> but yes, I did make a couple more Sims for your guys' viewing pleasure. Is there anything really out here? You know what? I can still see the castle, so I don't think that's quite far enough. Oh, there's a ship out there. Can I go? We can go over there. So let's have Ariel kind of explore more out that way. And there's something else that um, mermaids can do with the Better Mermaids mod that I didn't realize until I was watching like a, a trailer for it again, just because I wanted to make sure I was getting like all the fun different things that you can do with the Better Mermaids mod. <gasps> Michelle, my belle, thank you so much for getting us out to Virtual Honeybee. Thank you so much, Michelle, my belle. You're so generous and kind. Uh, virtual honeybee, please make sure you say a wonderful thank you to Michelle my bell if you are here and listening and watching. What's up, Nemo, aka Alyssa? I always have to be so serious when I say Alyssa now. Oh! Oh, I didn't realize we go past uh, a certain someone's house over here. Any guesses as to whose house this is, guys? Yeah, sure, you can be family oriented, that's fine. Ariel's getting oddly close. Okay, can we get any closer to the ship? <gasps> oh my god, we can.
Look at her go. I'm guessing this is the ocean we can't go in because there's a blue line cut off. Whoa, I went all the way back over there. So normally there's like, you know, if you have island living, uh, usually you can find some floating junk. So let's just say Ariel, um, while she's here at the ship, spots some floating junk that seems to have come from this ship. And if you find floating junk in the ocean with a better mermaids mod, you can search for human stuff. And I feel like that is right up Ariel's alley. So while she's here exploring the ship, let's have her search for some human stuff. Is there, oh, there's an actual animation of her sifting through it. See, this is the little stuff that modders are just so much better at because you know, you know that if it were the Sims, oh, there's a whole mirror. You know that if it were the Sims, they would just have done a e uh, um, animation and that would have been it. But this modder, look, look she, he does a whole animation of her sifting through the trash and finding things and examining the things she's found. Oh my God, we got Lumiere. I, this is why I think modders are so much better. They are so much better. Why don't they just hire them? Okay. Apparently I told her to search underwater for something when I meant to tell her to do something else. So she's just gonna do that anyways. Part of your will. The way this save just gets better and better. I love it. I love it. Do I dare go over there? No, not yet. Not yet. I didn't really plan on us going all the way over there yet. I love that so much. Isn't it just amazing? Ah. Redeemed guide the raid. Okay, just cuz. Oh, and it's a my choice. Okay, so tonight uh, when I end the live, we're gonna have to make sure we do a raid because just cuz redeemed that. So I will make sure we do that. And if just cause, if you see a specific person that you want to raid once we get to the end of stream, let me know. Ariel will always be my favorite. I rewatched both Little Mermaid movies today. Oh, she just did a tail flip for no reason. She was just that excited. Um, I watched both the Little Mermaid movies today also, just as a refresher. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at her actually looking at the human things she finds and it's a old and it's old and covered in barnacles and stuff this is so look at her not knowing what it is too i wonder if there's any new special guests that i have made that i could possibly ask questions about what this uh device is Last time I saw the raid comment, but I don't know how to get to the actual raid. I believe it should, oh, there's one more. I believe it should be like, you can click on the button. Or like once the live ends, I thought it usually would just take people over. Ariel just gained enough experience as a mermaid to select a perk. She can continue to perform mermaid activities to build her rank and unlock more impressive perks. Or she can choose from one of the mermaid pie menu. Let's get a mermaid perk. How do I do that? Um, click on the mermaid things. Mermaid. <gasps> Perks. Select a perk. Okay, so here are the different, once you reach a certain, I think what, perk level three, you can start picking uh, perks for your mermaid. So hydrokinesis, manipulate water to condense it from the air and absorb it for hydration boost for the power of, so hydration boost. Give enemies a cold shoulder by something. Uh, that's like an Elsa thing, so I don't really want the giving, making them cold. Uh, thermokinesis, radiate heat from the palms of your hands to melt frozen friend or give the nemesis a hot flash. That seems too evil for Ariel. I feel like she wouldn't be into that. Okay, we can't do electroshock or air. Harness the power of wind to summon some gusts that can throw others around or trap them in cyclones oh but that one sounds so cool but once again i feel like electricity and that is too evil for ariel h2o efficient h2o efficiency grants super water retention and bladder control ariel will no longer need to work using the bath or worry about using the bathroom and will lose hydration at a slower rate well, that's kind of helpful 
Ariel will be able to go for extended dives to collect as much kelp as she wants. I mean, we don't really need kelp, so... Uh, I don't really care about that one. Motion of the ocean. Ariel will prefer to sleep underwater, gaining energy at a higher rate and also increasing her fun needs for a bit. Looks like there's some other perks too, but they are unlocked at different ranks. Gain a selection of... Oh, I kind of want this one. <gasps> See, Savior, be the benevolent guardian of the waves and rescuing those who have found themselves in a watery grape. <gasps> oh, that's like... Her saving Eric, almost. I really want the sea shanties. I think we'll have to get more on that. I think for now, let's just do H2O efficiency, because why not? Sheree and Marie, thank you so much for that four-month resub. Thank you so much, Sheree. You're so sweet. I love you, honey. <laughs> the live always takes me over. Oh, my God. cute upgrade sound that sound reminds me of the sims 3 mermaids i'm pretty sure that's probably where they got that sound that reminded me of the sims 3 and a sound that they used to make when you found like a treasure chest yeah i think it is all right so ariel has successfully um gone ahead and found some different things so we'll tell her to swim back to her house then i don't want her to go and walk that way so hopefully she stays away from this mysterious castle where we don't know at all who who could possibly live there i have no Fucking idea save, Josie. Oh, i'm saving you're right i'm saving hey and i did fix the sound alerts thank you so much for testing those manders bless ya bless ya <laughs> i thought under the sea was about to play under the sea under the sea <laughs> <laughs> Darling, it's better down where it's winter. Take it from me. I just got boring water today, too. I'm pretty depressed. Oh, I have lemonade. Dang it, I have lemonade I just made today, and I totally forgot. <laughs> I guess. Experiment, you put your money where your mouth is. You say, woohoo, sound alerts. You better <laughs> send one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it'd be neat. You want to be neat, you be neat. I love seeing the mermaids swim around. It makes me so stinking happy. Holy, where are you? Okay. I. Why does trash get thrown at everyone? This house is terrible. This house is terrible. They can't clean any of their dishes. Everything piles up. Everything breaks. Ugh. Uh, this house is gorgeous. Like, it is gorgeous. Do not get me wrong. It is terrible for gameplay to, like, an actual, like, household of Sims. All right, so Ariel has just flown in. <gasps> Holy Ursula. <laughs> Man, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here yet. Maybe she tried to get into the castle. And Ariel's oldest sister, Atina, is giving Ursula the business all right she's telling her you need to get out you know my dad kicked you out for being a sea witch and stuff like oh maybe this is how ariel gets curious and learns about ursula though and atina's like i know all about you my father kicked you out for a reason you need to get out of here you are not welcome you 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 don't even have any underwear you smell like a stinky boot <laughs> it's like you're bad <laughs> Tell her to go away. Get out of here, Ursula. You're upsetting us. Why are you swimming like this? Why are you swimming like this, Atina? <gasps> Where did your legs go? Okay. You better have just lost them for that. And that reason only. Oh, okay. Nice to know. All right, so Ariel has found some really nifty things. Now, I will summon a few of the Sims that I made that you guys requested. Oh, I'll actually have Ariel pay the bills also. So get excited, guys. Here are the Sims that I made just for you guys. Um, gotta summon them by name. And I think let's start with Flounder. 
fish. Then let's also invite over Sebastian Crab. You are too good to us. Hopefully I spell his name right there. I think I did. And the last sim I made, Scuttle. Oh, did I name him Scuttle Bird or Scuttle Gull? Or Scuttle Seagull? I think I did Seagull. We'll see. Flounder's right over, Simon the Crab will be right over, and I did spell Scuttle's name right! And who's this first sim stepping up? It's none other than Flounder. Shree, thank you so much for getting us up to Mama Goose. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much, Shree. I really appreciate that. Also, if we get to 325, I'll do a mustache party as well. But look, it's Scuttle! What do you guys think? Is he good? <laughs> Tiffany, thank you so much for that follow, by the way. I don't know if I said that earlier, but I, I'm sorry. Here is Flounder. I will show you him, them in their mermaid forms as well. But look at Flounder. Look, he's got blue eyelashes too, and he's got blue scales. Are all these people gonna be cursed? Flounder's cute. You get out of here. Flounder is not cursed. I gave him really dark blue hands. I wanted to do dark blue feet, but I didn't have anything like that. So I'm going to make sure Ariel knows them and that her and Flounder are like best friends. That way we can invite him over whenever. Next sim to show up. Wait, hold on. So I invited them all over. I'm hoping they all pop up one at a time. Oh, there he is! Now, you guys might like this one a little less than Flounder. Um, here is Sebastian. Sebastian, could you stop looking so stressed? <laughs> here is Sebastian. He looks like he got a little burnt. I was trying to find just crab claws, but I couldn't find them unless they were attached to a Mr. Crab's body. And I didn't want to download Mr. Krabs. <gasps> Manders! Ooh. How did you put the hearts on it? That is so cute. Thank you so much for getting five subs to the community, Manders. Thank you so much. I didn't even see. What does that bring our subtotal up to? Ooh, 324. Only one away from that mustache party. <laughs> Oh, all right. I'm waiting for that last sim to pop up because I don't think you guys will like Scuttle at all. <laughs> friend level, true friends. Oh, sorry. I guess um, let's do just good friends. All right, guys. Are you ready for Scuttle? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready for Scuttle, okay? Let's just go from the back first. Oh, we got a little bit more here. We got a little more. Oh, oh. Okay, very interesting. So I will also be putting on a mustache 
Thank you guys so much for gifting enough subs to get us up to a mustache party. You know what? I've never done a brown one. Let's do a brown one. Maybe it'll match my hair better. All right, let me just make sure our relationship with Scuttle's good. That way we know all these sims so I can invite them over whenever I want. There we go. Um, I think out of all of the sims that I made, I'm pretty sure Scuttle is not a mermaid. So I'm going to form a group with these guys and I'm going to have them meet us in the water. Uh, I love seeing Ariel's sister swim around. You get it, Aquata. You get it. Oh, her shadow is really pretty coming up. Ariel, why are you going upstairs to pay the bills? Atina, are you still trying to kick Ursula out? Or are you just, like, talking next to her? Don't talk to her. Go swim around or something. Thank you. And please put your tail back. Okay, good. She has her tail and she's swimming like a mermaid again. That's all I cared about. Ariel, why are you going all the way up? Hold on. I need to put the mustache on. Are they already swimming back here? <laughs> yeah, Scuttle is the only one of them, obviously, who cannot uh, swim underwater because he is a bird. So Scuttle is not a mermaid. But... Sebastian and Flounder are. So they should be coming around to the back too. And that's where I'll show you. Oh, Ursula is swimming away. That's where I'll show you guys what Flounder and Sebastian's mermaid forms are. Hopefully these sims aren't stuck up here. <laughs> Actually, Scuttle is growing on me. Hey, you love them and you hate them. Did you make a Vanessa? Ooh, Alyssa. You'll have to wait and see if I made Vanessa. Flounder apparently ditched me. Interesting. <gasps> no! Sebastian, where is your mermaid form? Hold on. I think it's doing that thing where my sims forget they're mermaids. So please hold. I finally caught up on the series and I'm so glad I can catch a live stream. I'm glad you made it too, sweetheart. The crab with the tail. Well, apparently the crab doesn't even want to show his tail right now. So let me go ahead and show them to you guys. Ash, this is my Disney princess challenge. Also whales. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. This is my Disney princess challenge. It is a challenge where I've started off with Snow White as the first generation. And every new generation of my Sims family is a new princess. So I have done... So far, I've done Snow White, Cinderella, Tiana, Sleeping Beauty, Anna Elsa, uh, Rapunzel, Belle, Merida, and Ariel. So those are all of the princesses I've done so far. I've gone through 10 princesses. All right, so here is Sebastian's mermaid form. So obviously, crabs don't have tails, but he can go underwater. He is a, he is a sea creature. <laughs> and so, obviously, what happens when you're done with all the princesses? Ah, uh, start a new challenge. <laughs> I guess. But uh, here's Sebastian. <laughs> How do you like it? Oh my gosh. All right, so Flounder. Flounder's obvi obviously a fish, so he does have a tail. So here is Lots Flounder's fish form and he's a teen so he's a little on the skinny side i guess let me just pork him up a little bit um the flounder was a little fatter okay so here is flounder's mermaid form and obviously like i said scuttle he's not a mermaid but actually there was one detail that I realized I could do better on Scuttle after I watched the movie. So let me tell you. Do you notice anything about Scuttle's eyes? Do you notice anything about Scuttle's eyes? Um, he has yellow eyes with a black pupil. And I have given him yellow eyes, but then I remembered. 
I have worse yellow eyes. I do have these eyes. So I think that I've just made him better. <laughs> I have not actually seen the Ariel live action movie yet. Um, I just didn't hear, even though like, you know, even the people that wanted to watch it, you know, I just heard that not many people liked it or that it wasn't as good. Like it, like the movie just fell flat, not because of Ariel being black or anything like that, just because the movie wasn't as interesting or it was weird or they just, ch they, I don't know, they just tried to do too much. So I haven't seen it personally myself. It's on my list of movies to watch, but because I've heard so many negative reviews about it, it's kind of <laughs> been pushed back for me on my list of movies to watch. I would like to watch it at some point and I know I will. Um, I just haven't yet because I've just heard so many <laughs> bad things about it that I feel like I have to be in a good headspace to watch it. <laughs> also, I realized Scuttle's feet are orange. Um, so I wanted to put orange socks on his feet for his orange feet. Um, his beak is also orange, but sadly the skin for the bird that I'm using, because I am using a skin detail for, sc for Scuttle's skin. You're welcome again. Um, they don't have a white with an orange beak one, an orange beak bird form. So the one I'm using was the closest I could get. Obviously, look, I can do a great many different birds, but this is the one that was closest to him. So that's why I picked this one. Yeah, I wish I could make his beak orange, but sadly, the skin detail I have just won't do that. I just don't care for a lot of the Disney live action movies they're coming out with. And I heard a rumor today that I am a little upset on. So I could understand in the past when Ariel's race was changed how people were upset um and stuff like that but always i but in the whole time i was thinking oh it's nice for people to have representation and it's nice because ariel is a fictional character like she's a mermaid she's not really real like you know a mermaid could look like anything today i heard who they might be doing a tangled live action and there was a leak on who they cast to play tangled and the girl looks nothing like Rapunzel, but Rapunzel's like a German tale, like she's a real person with a real story. And so when I saw that, it made me upset a little bit because I love Rapunzel. I love her. I think her movie is amazing. I think she's the most adorable little thing ever. And I saw the person they thought about casting for her and I was a little upset, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why. It just didn't feel like Rapunzel to me anymore. And I feel like that's probably how some people felt with Ariel. And so I have a new understanding for people who were upset about Ariel. But also at the same time, I love representation. I just wish they would make more movies. So I feel like I understood how people who were set, upset about Ariel felt in that moment when I saw who they were casting as Rapunzel. I wasn't pleased. It actually made my heart cry. Because I love Rapunzel. She's a very personal princess to me. She's one of my favorites, so... I don't know. Who was Flynn? I did not see Flynn. I only saw Rapunzel's cast. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I'll go. I, I will. I do want to give uh, the Little Mermaids live action a chance, but I feel like I need to, I need to sit down with the right headspace. <laughs> I just wish Disney would do more different movies. Like give us more new Disney princesses. You know, so I'm just done with all the, the live actions. None of them are good anymore. Like they're not even good attempts of retelling the story usually for me. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, Sebastian is hanging out. So Sebastian, have you learned how to be a, uh, a mermaid again? Or is he not even here anymore? I'm sorry, I, I, this got wildly off topic. I apologize. <laughs> But no, I do want to give it a chance. I also need to watch the new Asha movie, which obviously I know a lot of people are upset about the art style, but then I heard good things about it, but then I heard bad things. So I don't know. My, I have very re mixed reviews going into Asha or Wish. Um, 
But it is on my list of movies to watch. I almost watched it the other night, but then my Disney Plus started acting up and I couldn't watch the movie and I was very upset. Not Mandy talking about serious topics while wearing a mustache. You know, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I did not watch the Mulan live action because I just heard how awful it was. How they changed it from her just being an amazing woman to her only being amazing because she has powers. So I didn't even want to, I didn't even want to justify that one with a watch because I was too upset after I heard about it. I was like, really? They made her not just an amazing woman in general. Now she's just an amazing woman because she has magical superpowers. Oh, <laughs> uh, Disney. I love Disney, but they're really messing with my movies lately. I ain't happy with it. The Lion King was the only one they did right. I liked the Lion King remake, but a lot of people were still upset about it. Atina just, okay, I don't care about Atina gaining mermaid XP. I want Ariel to be the one that gains mermaid XP. And I want her to talk to Flounder in the water. So Flounder, get your patookie over here. Also, Sebastian is still pretending he doesn't know he's a mermaid. I hope Flounder gets in here and realizes he's a mermaid. I may even add Flounder to my household. I don't even care at this point. Is there a way I can, okay, I would like Ariel to at least talk to Scuttle while she's in the water then. Friendly, interest. I don't know if I can show him the human stuff she got. <gasps> yes, Flounder, we can be BFFs. Where where are we at? Are we in the coral? Are we are we inside? We're in. I'm inside it. Um. So yeah, the part of the mermaid XP that is a better mermaids thing. Why are we meeting inside the coral? This is not a the. Sorry, I just heard something. <laughs> I'm curious about the Moana remake. Oh, I'm so tired of live action. Moana's not even new. <laughs> okay, can we get out of this? I don't want us to all meet in the anemone. <laughs> oh, this is not going well. All right. <laughs> is there any way I can talk to Scuttle about the human things that I just found? <gasps> Mermaid. Siren Sullivan. Nope, not nope, none of those things. Interests. I guess we'll talk to him about our interests and we'll say that that's enough. Is there anything I can do with the human items that I found? <gasps> she found a dingle hop! And it's actually called a dingle hopper! Look, she found a dingle hopper! Oh my goodness! <gasps> and you can brush your hair with it? No way! I can brush my hair. She's brushing. Okay, this is a very scary angle, but. Oh my gosh, she's brushing her hair with a dingle hopper. Let me do that again because I missed most of the animation. Oh, Beric. It's beautiful. I I love mod creators. Okay, so her thingamabob that she's got twenty. Um, her thingamabob. This is old thing is covered in algae and it smells like clams, but it sure is neat, don't you think? Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? <laughs> and she found a what's a jig. This object is so shiny, you can almost see your reflection through all the sea sludge that is. Oh my god, this is so... And she can admire herself in this one. <gasps> oh my goodness. I love this. Now I want to go find more human objects, because those are all too cute. Oh, boogie gone. Baba day so, you nabby. Shippies are... What's that gray thing? Oh, this is Scuttle. <laughs> of course. Oh my god, you can see his freaking smile underneath the beak. I need to see him talk, actually. Oh my god, the mouth opens. Oh my god, the mouth opens. Look at this. Oh, it's so cursed. It's I didn't see the beak in live action yet. Oh my goodness. So I ain't gonna lie. Um, This beak... 
mod and the skin details came in a furry package, I deleted everything that wasn't related to a bird. <laughs> I, they made muzzles and, and dragon snouts and cats and stuff like that. I didn't want any of that in my game except for the bird right now just for Scuttle because I thought it was funny. So, yeah. Samantha Ann, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> all right, Sebastian. I like how she's just talking to them all. Okay. Now, let me disband this group. Okay, apparently they, they're leaving on their own. I wanted to take Scuttle, or not Scuttle, gosh darn it, Flounder. Apparently Flounder is going on a nice long walk. I wanted to take Flounder out with me. Swim here together. Can we swim? Yeah, swim around together. I want them to go hunt for human objects together. What's up, King Triton? Look at Ariel being a good girl all at home. She's such a good girl for staying. Should have kept the dragon for Mushu. Oh! Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna have to re-download that mod. I should have kept the dragon stuff. Do I want Mushu to be an actual person? Or do I want Mushu to be a pet? Cause I'm sure I can download a cat Mushu. No problem. Okay, I want more human things to pop up. Cause I wanna see if there's any other types of human things that we haven't seen yet. For a moment. Nope, nope, not that. I guess I should have, I should only have her search for human stuff farther away from her house though. But I don't care. Um, so, uh, the way that my sims can collect human objects, even though there's floating trash in the ocean, the floating trash in the ocean, that comes with the base, um, island living, but I have a better mermaids mod that allows, uh, my sims to look in these for piles of human trash as well so i like that a lot are you leaving me again dang it i didn't get to see if he has a freaking tail or not flounder please turn around i just want to see if you have a tail no he has that stupid glitch Oh, he doesn't realize he's a mermaid. I hate it when my sims do this. You know what? Add to family. Let me just do this real quick. Because I want him to have his stupid tail. I hate it when they do that. A human Mushu. Oh, God. Considering that Mulan doesn't have too many friends, a human Mushu oh, might be nice. <laughs> All right. Realize you're a mermaid, buddy. A pet dishonor on your cow. <laughs> I love playing with the mermaids, but haven't modded it a lot. The the better mermaids is is really cool. I love them this mod a lot so far. It's really fun. All right, I've got to get Ariel up to a level ten because I'm sure you guys are just dying for us to meet uh, Prince Eric already. So I need to get her up to her singing level 10. That way we can have her go meet Eric finally and begin this part of the escapade. Mushu as a cow plant doesn't sound bad either. Oh God. Okay. Flounder, hear me out. How about you get out of the water? Please. It's cute seeing him talk with Ariel, but I really want him to be a freaking mermaid. Oh my gosh, are things broken up there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, things are broken. Uh, 
Oh, oh my gosh, why is there garbage up here? I've never seen so much garbage just randomly appear in a Sims house all the time. Where does this all come from? Lizzie, thank you so much for the follow, sweetheart. All right, Ariel, can you look for more human things and then um, and then I'll have you work on your stuff. Why are you hysterical? Also, did I save? I'm gonna save, just in case. Minecraft lover, yes. I'm combining both Mulan 1 and 2 for Mulan's inspiration. Or Mulan's story. Why are you... Okay, so she found another mirror. Flounder, can you go swim here? I love how she's just searching through. It makes me so happy. All right, tail flip, Ariel, and sing a sh sea shanty. to sing in the water yeah no she can't though that's the part that sucks all right ariel i need you to go here and practice your singing oh flounder you're killing me why why do you not realize you're a freaking mermaid? Look at you. Look what you can do. Hold on, I don't know if you, you I don't know if you know this. I was just showing off your tail. Why you gotta do this to me? Get it, Flounder! Oh, I did sing Sea Shanty again. I was hoping to do a mermaid tail flip. Can I hide your mermaid? That's terrifying. And now, mermaid, ah. reveal your mermaid form. Huh. Huh. And then, yeah. oh, I know, let's do this. <gasps> yes! Okay, good, he finally remembered he's a mermaid. He turned, he got his mermaid tail. That's all I care about. This is all I care about. I just wanted him to bring out his mermaid tail. There we go. That worked. That's nice to know. Okay, sorry, Ariel. I forgot to have you uh, practice singing. <gasps> she almost talked to a human. She had in a thing to talk to a human. I don't know where this human is, but I gotta be careful because she's not supposed to talk to humans yet. You know, when I imagined Ariel's voice, these weren't it. Ooh, Adela's got her new mermaid skill. Adela's leveling up. Look at Adela go. All of these mermaid girls are so pretty. Oh, more trash in this room. 
I think I'm going to have to hire a maid. Do you think a maid, honestly, guys, do you think if I hired a maid, it would actually help us hire a service? I know Ariel's not supposed to talk to the maid, so we're going to have to really be careful of that, but we, I think this house just needs a maid. <laughs> There's always way too much trash lying around. That's a Tiana voice. Oh my god. Come on, Ariel. Is her skill even going up? I don't think it is. Please pause. Sing a song. A pop. This. I would doubt I doubt the maid will help since they can't carry trash down the ladder. That's the problem. Okay, so to make this house more playable. If the problem is that they cannot... Oh my gosh, that's Trident's chair. I just now noticed that was up there. If they can't carry trash downstairs, what I need to do is move the kitchen down here. Which I don't know why it's not down here to begin with. I think what I'm going to do is delete the fridge up here. Because I don't even know why it's here in the, to the first place. They can't even reach this trash can because of that stuff there. So this room now has no purpose. Now, next thing I need to do... To make this more playable. Okay, destroy that. Destroy this. Destroy that. Destroy this. Okay. So now, to make this feel more real, I gotta find if there's another kitchen. I think there was two kitchens. Up high. There is this. Why is Flounder swimming up here? Flounder, you wanna explain yourself? Oh. You know, this is pretty cool, though. This is a pretty cool glitch, I ain't gonna lie. It's cool seeing him as a mermaid uh, just sitting <laughs> on that. I like that a lot, actually. Um, okay. It is technically a way for trash to collect here. I love that. Okay. That are the girls' rooms. Ariel, are you still practicing? No, you're not. Why are you bringing trash up? Oh, you're gonna wash it? Oh, fair. Can you please practice your singing? Okay. Um. So there is a way for them to make food, and it's over here. Let me see. Did I just see? Yeah. Adela, could you try and cook a feast for us? Let me just see if this works. My mermaids are always swimming through the floor. It's so cute, though. It's so fun to see him do it. Okay, so she can make the food. That's good to know. So, if trash is up here, they at least can go down the stair- Oh my gosh, Flounder. Okay, when I was happy that you got your tail, I was meaning that you- Yeah, you know, like- <laughs> That you didn't have to. Okay. Is Ariel singing going up? I think it is going up a smidge. It's just going very slowly. Only an hour late. How dare you, Bells? I didn't even realize that I've been swim or swimming. That I've been playing for that long. All right. You know what? I want to see. I want to see this. Actually, no. I like. Hold on. Mermaid. Ah, John, I'm dying. Flounder, I'm dying. 
<laughs> yes, Flounder, give the people what they want. He's so cute. Oh, buddy. I love this. Where can you get this world to build it? Ellie, this uh, world comes from Island island Life. Um, the beach one, it comes from Island Life. And I was correct. The uh, Triton's Castle does come from Tomlin, um, YouTube Tomlin YT on the gallery. So she is the one that made this. Who are you? Oh, I thought you were like Ursula or something. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so majestic i love that the so once again them being able to be a mermaid and sit on land with their tail out that is also a part of the better mermaids mod um just so you guys know so this doesn't happen with the sims regular mermaids it is with the better mermaid mod Can you own your own daycare in The Sims? Not technically. He got a diaper booty. <laughs> okay, Ariel, you are almost done. Let's get to level singing 10 and we'll be solid. <gasps> what happened? What happened to you? A forced transformation? <gasps> oh my gosh, I think this because... What? I know, I think this is something with the mermaid mod. What is it though? Um, where can I look at her mermaid stuff? It's because she was out in the water. It's because it was rain. She has, oh, this one, this one, it's not a perk. It's like a, it's like a buff. It's a bad one though. I want to know how you see it though. Because I'm pretty sure if she walks back out into the rain, it'll happen. It's like, it's very H2O, you know? Oh, but she has an umbrella now, so. Saving. I want to see where those are, but I don't know where you would see their mermaid things. What in the world was that? She just screamed. That legitimately just terrified me. What just happened? Why did she just scream? That scared me. I'm trying to look and see if there's any notifications about that because that was terrifying. Why did Alana just scream like that? I got no notifications about that. A banshee scream. I felt the need to do that too. Oh my gosh. That was scary. I don't know why it happened. And that's the part that makes it even more terrifying right now. <laughs> be gone, demon. <laughs> it has to be from the, uh, the, the better mermaids mods. They can get weaknesses every now and then. But I don't know how to see their weaknesses so I can read about them. Like, I, I wish I knew how to look at what different mermaid buffs she's got, but I didn't know where to find that. I like how your game was like, nope, nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> um, it is a mod, but... 
It's it's gotta be something I can see. She what made me scared. She got she got jacked up to start screaming or something again. I got terrified. I know the sisters have been getting different buffs and perks and then different things at different times. What you want, Tryin? What are her emotes? Come on, you are so close to level 10, Ariel, and we can go see Eric. Also, Ariel's legs are like jacked. Alright, and. Alright, we've maxed! We have maxed. All right, I think it is not. <gasps> is that a turtle? It's a turtle. Can I do anything mermaidy with it? Of course not. But uh oh, you're emerging. <gasps> You're beautiful. There's turtles. Oh my god. Let's swim out here with them. All right, it's time for Eric now, guys. Now we get to find a way for Ariel to go meet Eric. What was this? Collect seawater? Okay. Ariel's out is fun. Okay. Flounder, why are you forgetting you're a mermaid again? No, it's ruining my vibe, Flounder. Why do my sims do this? All right, Ariel, swim around for like two seconds, please. Oh! Oh! Okay, mermaid. Reveal mermaid form. God bless you. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> All right. Well, we pretend it's not a function for us, though. Okay, so Ariel is going to go a little close to his place. Uh, so I'm here together. Because Ariel wants to find more human things. And she knows she can find human things around um, ships like that. So what's going to happen is Ariel's going to see that area over there. And be like, oh, another human ship. There must be human things around. So her and Sebastian are going to go swim out there and go, oh, never mind. Or not Sebastian. Hey, no. <gasps> Don't you dare walk there. I said. I said swim there. You better hope you're not spotted. <laughs> it's a little too close. You're a little close. Thank you. So Ariel sees that over there. And she's like, wow, oh my god. It's a human ship. And there is, there was junk there, you know. How do I get Eric to come out? Break in. Because I don't want Ariel to get out of the water, technically, to meet Eric. But I need to find a way to summon him. Oh, how am I going to do that? I guess technically we can visit the house. But I'm going to have Ariel and Flounder stay in the water as best I can. Oh, she found another thing. Um, Kaylee, I have a Better Mermaids mod. It's called Better Mermaids. 
Um, it is fantastic. I love it though. It is the best. That mustache though, thank you. <laughs> Did you make his dog go? I don't know, did I? Oh crap, there's humans out. I don't know, did I? <laughs> did I make Max? Not my husband, the dog? I don't know, couldn't possibly have uh, made Max. <laughs> well, as you can see, a couple of the household members it, uh, from the Little Mermaid are here. We got Grimsby. Grimsby, he is here. And then if you've ever watched The Little Mermaid 2, you will know that this is, oh, what's her name? Carlotta. This is Carlotta. She is the kind of the house servant. Um, and I do have a couple more characters. Of course, the only character I kind of want out is not here. So let me just knock on the door door just to see if I can't see where Eric's at so I can like I don't know make him come out here don't this is movie magic time don't don't think about it too much don't think about anything too much well you're getting a sneak peek in on Eric's castle because I'm looking for Eric and if he's not here I'm gonna throw oh there he is okay Eric action Siren's Lullaby. I need you to come here. Wait, hold on. I know what I can do. Relationship. Um, just acquaintances. Yes, just acquaintances. Um, can you come here? Can you can you come here? Of course. Form a group. Okay, can we, can we all wade here? Get back out of the house. Go, 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 go. <laughs> we were never there. We were never there. All right, Ariel, go swim here. Flounder, I need you to also go swim here. We were never, but we never had legs. We never had legs. We have always been mermaid. Why are you carrying an umbrella? You do not care. Why do you have an umbrella? Why can't you guys swim out here? Prince Eric? I see Grimsby. Eric, are you sitting in the same spot still? No, I see Carlotta. Okay, I think Eric's coming. That sounds like a bad sentence. <gasps> Is he coming outside? Eric! Please! Please, I'm trying to set movie magic up. All right, Flounder. Go... Swim around over here. Oh, God, Ariel. <laughs> so here, go. Eric, no, stay here. Mermaid Siren's lullaby, a charmer's lullaby. I just need her to sing to him, that's it. But I want her to be in the ocean when it happens, but I don't know if it'll be, no, I doubt it's gonna happen. Gosh darn it, Eric. You know what? No, I lied. Don't go into his house. <laughs> it breaks the vibe. Go, everybody go out here. Go here. We were never in his house. Eric. Eric was drowning in the water mysteriously. <laughs> Eric was going for a nice swim outside. Uh, Eric didn't understand the assignment. No, he did not. And, um, Siren's Call. Ocean Threat. Those sound both bad. Let's do Charmer's Lullaby, please. And Ariel being 
ever curious of humans, notices Eric drowning, right? As one does. And he's like, you know, knocked in conscience almost from drinking in so much, uh, from drinking in so much water. <laughs> is he happy and he's like he looks he actually genuinely does look a little tipsy right now he's like wow she's hot he's like that is a beautiful woman and then he swims back to shore without a problem and um we disband him from our group uh action removed from group and then Ariel and Flounder swim far away. Once Ariel makes sure Eric is safe, she knows she has to go away. Eric, get out of here, you're not supposed to follow us. No, you're not supposed to follow us, Eric. And, and Eric tries his hardest to follow the group. Eric, get out of here. Get out of here, you're not following them. But of course he's a slow human <laughs> and can't catch up to Ariel. And she's like, I think I just saw a human in his underpants. She's like, I'm feeling some sort of theme. <laughs> Ooh, and Eric, or Ariel has reached level two. Of her. Can we get another perk? Oh, of course not. All right. That's when Ariel goes back home. I'm loving this so much. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. That is when Ariel decides to go all the way back home. Don't swim towards him. Where are you going? No. I, when did you, when did I say you could just walk? Since when? I guess that's the shorter way to the house, but it, it kind of breaks immersion, don't you think? Ugh. Maybe Eric just needs to read the script. <laughs> I wish, I wish, I wish my sims would read the darn script every now and then. It would make my life so much easier if my sims would read the script. <laughs> Illusion throne. I'm trying to have them listen to me. How dare you not make Max? Can't see him anywhere. <laughs> All right, so Ariel goes back home. Obviously, she starts gushing to Flounder about, oh my God, he was so handsome and so attractive and so pretty. And I think I want to marry him. I think, I think, yeah. Oh wait, oh, we're, we're not home. Let's not forget that. I forgot, I thought we were home, but you're right. In the Sims point of view, they're indeed not home. We have to go through a loading screen first. <laughs> Thank you, Night Owl. Those unruly sims. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I have had this mustache on quite long enough. It is starting to irritate my skin. Ah, that is enough for me. Um, so we'll say Ariel and Flounder are once again. Here, can I? Are they still in a group? No, of course not. So we'll Flounder. And, uh, but, but who's here to overhear her? But her papa. Maybe. Are you complaining about that object? Oh, you're, you're looking at it. Well, you are complaining about it because you think it's hideous. <laughs> so Trident goes out here because he hears down the grapevine that Ariel is in love. And he's like, oh my gosh, my, holy crap. 
He's like, my little baby is in love. How exciting is that? And so he flo he swims out here. He sees Ariel and Flounder dipping around over here. And uh, happens to overhear Ariel. Ariel, get back over here. Who are you? Oh, I think that's Atlas. Crimsby's back over. Nice. Oh, I... oh, my sims. Why do you have an umbrella? Who's umbrella? I don't want you with an umbrella. Okay, well, I guess... Trident. Here's Ariel talking about being in love with a human. And that's when he gets all upsetty spaghetti. Trident, turn around. Trident. <gasps> Get out of our house, you human! Close the umbrella. argue about them house rules oh i do not like trident's <laughs> trident's um energized profile picture right now because it looks like he's going right through his own eye why will you not go talk to your daughter ariel what are you doing when did you become a fairy Ariel, honey, can you go? I lied when I said that I was going to do this in the water, because apparently that's not working out for me here. Try it. No, don't go upstairs yet. Please, no. Please, no. I still want you to have a conversation with Ariel. Perks. Oh my god. He could do these things to us. Okay, well, let's not mess with him. Mm-mm. Mean, argumentative, argue about house rules. That's one way to leave the house. Get rid of the umbrellas. Yes, a difficult family dynamic. That's what this is. Ariel is really not listening to it this time. She's kind of giving it back to him. She's like, this house is a prison. I feel locked up. I feel like trash, a doll in trash. Ah, Goja. But it's a prison here, Dad. You don't understand me. But also during Ariel's movie, she continues to call her dad Daddy the whole time. And I cringed every time. What's under parental? Parenting. Influence to take out trash, set the table. Mop puddles, do homework, <gasps> stuff like that. It comes with the Parenthood expansion pack. Mimblets of Brescia, huh? Loopy. Plurna. Oh, and Flora. Numiv. That argument seemed like it was more of an agreement than an argument. Oh, they're both hurt by each other now. No. Yes, Sebastian did snitch. Dazzy, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. But Daddy, I love him! Banners! Thank you. Alright. And with that, he tells Ariel to go back to her, you know, go back to the ocean where it's safe. Blah, 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 blah. And so she's like, you know what, Dad? I will. I will go. As she is in rage. And we go on to our next mode of business. Flounder, do you mind? As you're still in your mermaid form. Oops, she commands center, sim commands, maintain sim, move sim, and new household. Oh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we'll be good. <laughs> daddy, no, you can't. Yeah, it was weird uh, watching The Little Mermaid again, and Ariel only calls her dad daddy. But daddy, daddy, but daddy. And I'm like, oh, please stop. <laughs> like, it's weird. It's, it's weird for me to hear that now. Mm -mm. All right, so Ariel decides to take this chance to run away from him. She goes and runs away from her papa. Not with them. Well, could be with them. Nah. I need a nine world. Oh, did I see him? Or did I see other blue sims? I think I saw other blue sims. Oh, go on. Where is Flounder? I need that one. I need the yellow and blue mermaid. There he is. Boop. 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 And yeah, those ones can stay. I have to go back and deal with those guys eventually too. All right, so Ariel and Flounder leave together. And I guess this is like the only open lot in my map. So we'll just go here. Ah, oh, crap. We don't have the money for it. Of course not. Free real estate. Hold on. And play. You know, I never thought of Triton as a bad guy. He just went about things wrong. But I mean, he lost his wife in a very traumatic way by the people that Ariel was so fascinated with. Yes. Um, Rewatching The Little Mermaid now as a parent. Um, this is my first time watching Little Mermaid now in a parent's perspective. And I do think Triton was trying to do his best by his daughter. But he definitely did not handle the situations correctly. But you can see after, like, you know, after he blows up the cave, you know, of all Ariel's human things, he does feel a lot of remorse for that situation. And anytime that, or when Ariel runs away, he's instantly concerned about her safety. He's not angry at Ariel. He's scared for Ariel. You know, he's scared that she's going to get hurt. Um... So now, watch, like, I used to think Triton was really mean and controlling and stuff like that. But then watching it again as a parent, I can see where his fear kind of takes over, you know. And yes, he does not handle those situations in a great way at all. But you can tell it's because he really does love Ariel. And he wants her to be safe. When he hears she's in love, he doesn't say, oh, it better be with a prince or it better <laughs> a mer prince. He just says, who's the lucky merman? It could have been any merman, you know? Like, I think Triton would have been fine with whatever guy Ariel decided to marry. Because he's like, who's the lucky merman? He's not asking, well, who is it? You know, he's just happy. He's happy she's in love. When he hears it's a human, he's not so happy. But, you know, I think Triton genuinely did care a lot. Why is my Sims game taking forever to load, by the way? My niece and nephews are not allowed to watch it because of Ariel being a rebel child. That's a little, that's a little much of a stretch <laughs> of why a kid can't watch a movie. Um, she's also the youngest while the other girls probably had more time with their mother and they were older. So parenting them was different in the ball game than parenting Ariel. Could be fair, could be fair. Game. Game, why are you taking so long? And I'm hitting all F4. I know Atina, obviously Atina had the most time because she was the oldest daughter. And she's the only 
one of the daughters that really wears like a crown crown too, so. I feel like she was the one that's expected to take the throne. The Sims just be simming. I know. I think in every Disney movie, the main character rebels. That's what their mother says. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I think in the end, the movie for Ariel is also about following your heart and what you want in the world. Um, is she smart about the decisions she makes? Absolutely not. Oh, gosh darn it. No, she's definitely not smart in the decisions she makes, but she stands up for what she believes in. And I think that's more of an important message than she rebels against her father. It's also a message to the parents about love and acceptance and not blowing up <laughs> at your kids and to hear them out on their interests and talk to them calmly about it, about why certain things are dangerous, but do it in a calm and easy method to understand, you know? I feel like that's more of an important lesson. Because if Trey had just handled this different, I feel like it would have gone a lot better. Pogging, thank you so much for sharing the live. And uh, Miko, thank you so much for the follow. Come on, Sims game. Open up. I'm gonna get back to it. Okay, well, I'll open it then. She still respects her dad, but she's also a teenager who doesn't know how to deal with big feelings. Yeah, Ariel is like, also I wish in the future Disney movies, they start making these princesses a little older. <laughs> Like, 16 to be going off and getting married is a little young. It's a little young. Um, so I hope in future Disney princess movies, you know, if Disney ever decides to make original content again, um, I hope they're a little older. Which, you know what? How old is Asha? Did they say that in her movie? How old is Princess Asha? 17. Nope, they didn't really learn. They learned nothing. <laughs> Why 17? Make them adult. Make them 20. Make them 21. Why are they all 16, 17 years old? Hey, Pookie, thank you so much for sharing the light. <laughs> 17 isn't too bad. It's still super young. <laughs> I'm 26. I'm but a wee baby. <laughs> you know? Wasn't Snow White like 14? It is believed that Snow White is 14, I believe. Snow White age. 14, yep. So, yeah, I. <laughs> Disney needs to figure out their ages. <laughs> that way things seem a little bit more ex un un understandable. Because I know what I was doing at 17. A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> I had more gusto when I was in my 20s rather than being a little shy teenager. I didn't see Wish yet. Did she have a romantic interest? I haven't seen it either. I have not seen Wish. I was going to watch it the other night, but my TV um, Disney Plus was not working, so I couldn't watch the movie. I had made popcorn. I was ready to sit down and watch the movie, but then my Disney Plus was not loading on my TV, and I was like, dang it. And I didn't end up having time to watch it, so. I heard that in the movie Wish, the star wasn't supposed to be a star. It was supposed to be a handsome star boy. But now it's just a stupid star. And <laughs> I'm upset that they didn't go with that. I think having a romant romance interest in Disney movies is still fun. It's still fun to experience that love. Because I remember as a little girl, I loved love stories. I loved love stories in Disney. And now I understand they're going away from, they don't always need to have a prince and get with the prince and stuff like that. But now they're doing a hard turn to where like now none of the princesses have a love interest. And I still think falling in love is cute. I still think it's okay to be the mushy gushy person that falls in love and wants a family and kids and you know, stuff like that. We need a balance. It can't be all one or other. We can't have all complete love stories, but we can't have all they don't want to be with anybody else either. I feel like it needs to be 
a balance. Because I want both. I love a love, I love a good lovey-dovey love story. And I love a good, strong, independent woman. Like Brave, Merida, I loved it. I loved it. I love how she didn't end up with anybody. I love that. Elsa, I like how she's not with anybody, you know? Or at least if she finds a love interest, it's taken three to four movies for Elsa to find somebody to love. Um, however they decide to do that. But... It's okay to have a love story every now and then, <laughs> but one with mutual understanding and respect. <laughs> Not in world. Okay. Let's try this again. real estate on and yeah um like uh mirabelle and coco too there was no hint of a love and trust in her story and i think it was perfect that way i don't think every movie needs a love interest to be successful but i do love a good love story still and i do want to still see them moana yeah moana didn't have a love interest either in her movie and i think all of those are perfectly fine but i still want a love interest every now and then <laughs> I still think love stories are important. All right, so finally, I'm gonna save again. We have made it to a different house. We're not gonna use this house. Um, I just need them to be on a different lot. But Ariel is mad. And so Ariel makes the decision. She has heard about a sea witch. What am I doing? Oh, I know what I needed to do. I needed a... I needed to merge Ariel in Ursula's household. That's what I need to do. Because I need to be able to control Ursula. Why am I dumb like this? But yeah, like I was saying, I don't need a love interest in a love story in every movie, but I still think they're nice to see every now and then. Some commands. All right. I don't even know how you would begin on knocking on this, on the door to this. Also, once again, this house was once again made by the lovely Tomlin YT. Tomlin YouTube, Tomlin YT. Um, she made this amazing, um, visual of Ursula's house, so I would love to go in it and show you guys the rest, but I don't, I don't know how. <laughs> so I need to go to Manage Worlds again. Gosh darn it. My dog thinks he's an actual human, sleeps with pillows and blankets. Oh my goodness. Disney Princess Challenge is a fun one to do. All right, let me try this again. I need these two in her household because I need to be able to control Ursula. So I need them to go with her. Because I'm dumb and I don't know what I'm doing. There. I should have checked where Ursula was. Crap. <laughs> I should have switched to Ariel and Flounder. That way I don't have to sit through another loading screen because if Ursula's not at her house, she's not at her house. Now I have to go through another loading screen to get to her house. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not doing good at this today. <laughs> Jay, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. <laughs> is that king trident oh no king trident's on the lookout for his daughter no yeah you go you have a meeting over there yep don't pay attention to what the sea witch is doing back here i 
I just cheat by going into build mode and <gasps> teleporting my sims to the house. Oh my gosh, experiment. I've never tried that. Why did I just see this now? All right, so Ursula will be going into her house um, because Ariel has come to Ursula looking for help. Now let me show you this amazing house made by the lovely Tomlin YT, Tomlin YouTube, on the gallery. This is the inside of Ursula's house. So you come in, you go past all the the weeds and the graves of the of the of the people who have lost contracts with Ursula, their hands reaching out forever asking for help. And you come into this dank area over here, and oh, look, it's her, it's her electric eels. <laughs> you poor unfortunate souls. Oh my goodness. And then you come into the kind of the main area over here. It's got a bunch of her bottles and potions that she needs as well. She's got fun little knickknacks and crystals and rocks coming out of everything. And these are floating, but she's got spirits and bottles as well. And I just love all the different things that are just sitting up on the shelves. And she's got a little bathtub and shower back here. Which, by the way, all of this is playable. All these rocks do not interfere um, with everything. She's got a mirror over here. And she has a little kitchen over this way and then her bedroom is upstairs over here and it's got more uh little knickknacks all over the place she's got a, a vanity which this rock wouldn't be here and her bed as well so that is the house for ursula once again made by the lovely tomlin you guys know i'm not a builder but I do love getting things off the gallery, and Tomlin is incredibly, incredibly creative. So I will have them sit here. All right, Ariel, calm down a bit before you get enraged. And Ursula, instead of being in your swimsuit do you mind changing into your dress so we can get the feel of you being more like ursula you know all right so flounder is a little bit of a guppy he doesn't really want to go in there but ariel sits down with ursula and tells her about what she wants about how she is in love with Eric and how he is everything that she could have ever wanted and blah 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 Oh. It's like, he's my ray of sunshine. I just want to be with him. Oh. And she's like, but it's one problem. I'm a, I'm a mermaid. And Ursula's like, oh, that's so sad for you. If only there was something that could be done. Uh, let me see something. I'm, I'm curious. No. Okay. That's all. Parse <laughs> By the way, this is how the how the house looks when you're playing it. Like you can see, the rocks don't interfere at all either. Everything looks uh like this is how it looks without the rocks interfering the way. It's just got more crystals around it and stuff. So you, when you're playing it, you don't see all the rocks. And so, guys, I'm really excited for this part because with the Better Mermaids mod. Let me show you what you can do with the Better Mermaids mod, and I am very excited about this. So, since Ursula is a sea witch, she can practice brewing potions, conjure ingredients for things, summon a different sea witch, brew potions, or craft contracts. I can't wait to show you guys this, because this is so cool. I'm so ready for the show. Okay, let's go. Blue fears. <laughs> Yellows. I hereby grant you unto the sea witch. Isn't this so cool? <laughs> All right, so 
When you have a Sea Witch Mermaid with the Better Mermaids mod, you can have a contract that is that lasts for 24 hours, three days, or one sim week. Now, in the Ariel Little Mermaid's movie, she only has three days to make Prince Eric fall in love with her and kiss her. So we're going to do three days for Ariel as well. The different spells for these contracts are Heartstop or the Sea Witch must grant the uh, signer freedom from the torments of love and heartbreak. Uh, heartwarming, Sea Witch must restore a signer's heart if they have tainted love or have lost the ability to love. Uh, love spell, the sea witch must grant the signer the enchanted love using potion number nine or Aphrodite's love spell on them. Poseidon's good luck charm, turn into human, turn into an immortal, turn into fairy, which I have not played with. I'm very curious to see. Turn into a kelpie, which is like a mermaid, but more like a lagoon monster. Um, turn into a mermaid, turn into a spellcaster, turn into a witch, which is... I believe, a sea witch, um, like Ursula, or cleanse curse. The sea witch must cleanse any curses from a signer into the water cleansing potion. So we are going to be turning Ariel into a human. Um, and you have to choose a form of payment. So love, the signer must give up all romantic connections and lose ability to love whoever no you could pay them with actual money so we have a limited number of time to pay them this xyz amounts you could give them a soul so the signer must present the sea witch with the urn of a deceased sim before their time runs up you could give them your voice the singer must give the sea witch their voice which to do whatever with he or she pleases uh before that time limit expires or youth. The signer must relinquish years of their lives to the sea witch before the time limit expires. So, we're obviously going to be giving Ursula our voice. And Ursula has gone ahead and made up that contract. Now, how would I open the contract with the sea witch? That is the only part I have not done yet. So that is the one thing I've got to figure out now. So let me see. Mermaid. Perks. Nope. How do I open the contract though? Because I know that you can, like, you can sell these contracts. Place and world. Add favorites. Nope, that's not it. Friendly. Do I click this? Craft a contract. <gasps> Place contract. Yes. The Ursula Sea Witch contract. So this contract appears physically in your Sims inventory and you can put your uh, thing over it to see which contract you've made up because you have to make the contracts ahead of time and then you can have a, a Sim come sign them. Um, so this is Ursula Sea Witch contract. Uh, the payment is a voice. The time limit will be three days and her magic will turn them into a human. So... Let's go ahead and have that going on. Okay, so Ariel can't do anything right here. Disperse contract? How do I disperse a contract? Is that what I want? Revise, collect, <gasps> present contract to Ariel. M Floyd for bed. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my god, I gotta save just in case. Oh my gosh. So Ursula presents the contract to Ariel. I gotta take some screenshots of this. Aha. Uh -huh. This is too cool. I'm sorry. I'm geeking out over here, guys. Lander, can you... So I can take a decent screenshot. There we go. Boop. Larkin, John D. She's like, just go ahead, dearie. Oh. Go ahead and Your sign. Look at Ariel you. reading the contract and everything. Uh -huh. 
<gasps> and look at this! Ariel signing the contract with a dead fish pen! Just like she does in the movie! And look at Ursula rubbing her little hands together. She's like, flex and jets and now I got them, boys. The bus is on a roll. Those poor unfortunate souls. <laughs> Gosh, this is so cool. Okay. And then Ariel's going to go over here. Somewhere. Oh. I thought she was gonna do a cool, um, turn into a human thing. <laughs> so Ariel Atlantica has signed a contract magically binding terms as the agreement states, Ursula must perform the spell or use a potion designed by the contract on Ariel, then Ariel will have a set amount of time to provide the payment. If she fails to do so, there may be severe consequences. To initiate the fulfillment of this contract, Ursula should suspend it over her cauldron and select initiate contract fulfillment. Okay. Nope, not you. Craft contract, place contract. Okay, so now that we see the contract, it says now that it has been signed by Ariel Atlantica. So this contract um, is now signed. And now, let's see, present contract to revise contract, summon a sea witch and collect contract. Initiate contract fulfillment. Right? Do we have to go tell Ariel to come over here? Boom. <gasps> Oh, it plays the music. Oh my gosh, is this going to be like a YouTube copyright situation? Oh my gosh. It's time to begin. The life of a mythical being has got Ariel feeling a tad dull. With the dash of Ursula's humanity tonic, she'll be mortal and ordinary in no time. Ah! Ugh! The terms of the contract require that the beneficiary be transformed into an ordinary human. Oh crap! I have five hours to make the contract. Oh crap! Okay, but uh, uh, I haven't made the potion. Oh no! What happens if I mess up? Hold on. Who? Are, why? Is, oh my God! Ariel's sister's here. Why are you here? And who are you? Why are you just walk in my house? Um, a brewery potion. Oh, crap. <gasps> For the extraordinary flick of the... Yes. Make that. Sarpava. So she hasn't been transformed into a human yet, Ariel is. Still a mermaid, because I haven't made the potion yet. I forgot you had to make the potion. Ugh. If you haven't gotten the Better Mermaids mod, now it's time to do so. It's so uh -huh. cool. <laughs> so she's adding fish into the cauldron right now. Zippy. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> oh my god, it's a big old conch. <gasps> oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, the vapors. I love this. This is amazing. Okay. Ursula, hurry up make that contract. Flounder, stop talking to yourself in the mirror. Ariel's sitting over there waiting for her potion. I appreciate and support that flounder is showing <laughs> is showing to looking to himself in the mirror. <laughs> Are we done making it yet? I'm running out of time. Oh, that was it. Oh, oh. Did we do it? Okay. Okay. Um. 
So I've got the thing, I think. Did we did we make it? You're fine. Bottle up the potion. Okay, so once we make the potion, we gotta bottle it up. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, she just scooped it out with a whole seashell. Okay. Throw a potion. Oh, not in there. I don't want to throw it on her. How do I do this? Mermaid. Um. Sea witch! No, it's not any of those. I feel like <laughs> that can't be it. How do I how do I put it on? Disperse contract just sounds like a bad idea. How do I do it? This is a lot of steps. It is, but I feel like once I figure out how to do it, it won't be that hard, you know? Oh, wait, throw a potion. There, okay, I had to click it in my inventory. That was it. I'm just being too too complicated. So we're gonna throw the potion at Ariel now. Oh! Oh, it's like bombs away kind of a thing. Okay. We just bust it out. <gasps> Did we just take her voice? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Gotta get a good screenshot. Okay. So if you want to cross the bridge, well, you know the rest. If you want to cross the bridge, then you gotta pay the toll. <laughs> now that Ursula has successfully completed the terms of the contract, it is time for her to receive her payment. She can take it upon herself to collect whatever payment was agreed upon, but if the beneficiary doesn't have it or fails to pay up before time runs out, Ursula may have to take disciplinary measures. Ursula has gotten exactly what she asked for. Now it's time to enjoy it. But it would be wise to keep in mind the agreement that was made for the sea witch. Bad timing happened to those who don't settle their debts. So she's got to pay for that potion with that voice. Now how do I do that? Sea witch. Turn into mermaid. Wave contract payment. Oh heck no! We're paying! We are paying this contract. Um... I knew how. Can we play another character and watch the consequences play out just for science? Oh my goodness. Maybe, maybe. Is it in mischief? Mean? I've never played this mod before, so bear with me while I try and figure this out. I thought it'd be underneath Sea Witch, but I don't see that. We need a Disney Villain Hunger Games? I think I've done one. I believe I have done the Disney Villains Hunger Games. I want to say I have. Okay, it's got to be over here, right? Waiting payment. Because we just got to give her, her our voice, right? So I would feel like we can pay her right away. 
No, no, do not adopt Ella. Well, I guess she could be our, our caregiver for now. Actions, no. No, stop clicking that. Friendly. I don't know how to pay her. Wait. I don't see in our, anything in our inventory that would work. Because can Ariel still talk? She can still talk. Let me see. Sims 4 Better Mermaids How to Make Payment. Because I don't see it. How to make a payment. I don't know how to make the payment. It said you can do either way. I don't know how. I don't know what I'm doing. Payments have already been fulfilled. All right, let me see what Ariel can do if she puts this in her inventory. Because if Ariel clicks it, because it still says that the contract is awaiting payment. Let's see. Ariel has been granted a service by the Sea Witch. She must fulfill her end of the bargain before her time runs out or the consequences may be dire. I don't know how to do it though. And look at Ariel just swimming. Just swimming with her two little human legs. Choose a payment method after fulfilling the spell or potion that the sea witch requires to complete an event. We have chosen the payment. We've chosen that which you would give up her voice. Now I just need to figure out how to give up her voice. Drag to depths. Oh, God. No, I don't want to expose her, her mermaid seaweed. Friendly? I need to know how to do this. Because I don't want Ariel to get like freaking turned into something. I don't know what'll happen to Ariel if she doesn't make the payment. Sea witch. Mm. I don't want to waive the contract payment either. Oh my goodness. And here I thought I had everything figured out. Love potion contract fulfillment. I do this love mine no one in his arms and I can help her maybe a romance future with the use of efforts. Let's go find her and walk through the kennel around the corner. 
Contract payment. Okay. So I'm trying to see what they do. Sorry, I'm watching a video right now of this other girl who's gone through and done this. You shush. Collect payment. Okay, so. <gasps> I had to click the cauldron. Give a voice to see which. Okay, we got it. Figured it out. It just took me a sec. It took the, the Mario voice. Okay, give voice to see which. Find it. I found it. I'm sorry. I was clicking on the contract. I was clicking on everything. What I neglected to click was the cauldron itself. Now we know better. Now I know. Now I know. And that's all that matters. Capture voice. Sorry, Ursula. One more time. Can you get into your little... Uh, yeah, thank you. This dress. Gotta let her cook. I know. I'm so bad at this. It's, I hey, we're making it more immersive. And because of that, I have to, to do things. All right, Ariel, are you coming? Capture voice. Ariel. Okay, here we go. Woo! Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> oh, it's her voice! <gasps> Madoofus! Oh my goodness, that was so cool. Okay, well worth the wait. Well worth the wait, in my opinion. That was awesome. Now, can Ariel just never speak again? <laughs> can she just not talk at all to people? Friendly. <gasps> Enthusiastically attempt to chat? Oh my goodness. All right, so fulfilled. Okay, so the contract has now been fulfilled and Ariel's payment has been met. <gasps> this is so cool. Okay, so now we have to go find Eric, finally. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, this castle's over here. Sorry, Flounder, we're taking this journey on our own now. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm so happy. I finally figured it out. Is this a mod? Yes. Um, so mermaids come with the Sims 4 Island um, Island Life pack, but I'm I also am using right now a Sims 4 Better Mermaids mod made by the lovely Splin Spinning Plum Bobs. Um, they made it. All right. So Ariel, by the way, also tried to go ahead and find um, some clothing for this. So she found this human clothing, but as you can see, it's a little tattered, a little torn, but yeah, I'm using Mott for this, but it is, it makes it really fun. And she runs into the lovely Prince Eric and friendly, let's enthusiastically guess, Killy, attempt to get to know, attempt to chat. Let's enthusiastically. <laughs> I have to see this. Oh no, it's the freaking bells. No, it's the double wave. She has no voice. Look at her trying to explain to him that she has no voice. Eric's like, yeah, she. <laughs> She's really trying to tell him right now, and he's just like, yeah. You say that. Uh-huh. She's totally not crazy. It's an intense game of charades. She's like grabbing his shirt. She's like, listen to me. I know I can't say something, but you listen to me. She is grabbing that shirt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, 
I thought she went up and kissed him right then. So we need to uh, kiss him within the next three days. Now, I know technically that Ariel does not have to do nothing. Because the contract has not been fulfilled. But we're still going to keep it up to the story where Ursula is going to keep her voice for the next three days. Yada, 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 yada. And if she doesn't do that at the end of the three days, she'll be turning back into a mermaid. And she will not be able to live with Eric. So she still has to, uh, to get him to fall in love with her and kiss her in the next three days. So it's Saturday night at 3 p.m. now, which means we have till... Let me get a little note sheet down so I don't forget it in the future. So our contract started at Saturday at 3 o'clock. Start. So we have Sunday and Monday. So on one, two, three. we have till Tuesday at 3 a.m. To, uh, to try and get Eric to fall in love with us. So. That is what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and get till Tuesday at 3 a.m. in the morning to have Eric fall in love with us. So basically Monday night. <laughs> and so I just love how when he talks, there's a voice. Oh, she felt her throat. It was sad. And he's just telling her all about himself. This is so cute. Oh, and she's looking for shells. She's like, this is what I'm interested in. Um, hey, Eric, can we come live with you? Can we live with you, Eric? Sim commands. Um, maintain sim, move sim, other household. Eric, 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 Eric. E, E, Eric Z, Eric Lewis, no. Where, what about Grimsby? What about Grimsby? Grimsby, got it. Perfect. And then... Commands, cheats, play this household. So now Ariel is moving in with Eric. And now... Ariel is going to be getting a little bit of a wardrobe change! I'm so excited. Kids, thank you so much for that 17-month resub! Thank you, sweetheart. I love you so much, Kitsune. You've been such a wonderful little addition to this community for so long, and I love you so much. Mm. Oh. Ooh, Kitsune's on both. <laughs> yeah, Flounder's on his own right now. He's on his own a little bit. So, Ariel is invited into the house and she's gonna get a little bit of a wardrobe change. But the first thing they do for Ariel when she first moves into the house is they have her go take like a bath in this luxurious tub. We're gonna do this little luxurious tub. A bath with soaks. Give, them a, give a bubble bath. They give her like a big bubble bath in the tub. So we're gonna have her go into this little bathtub over here. Is the bed in the way? You can't go any other way? Like, there's not a giant path this way? You you really can't come this way? And, and then go... Oh my gosh. It's because this house is on platforms and such. All right, looks like I might run into some issues as we play with this household. I believe this house was also made by the lovely Tomlin YouTube. As well. All right, so hopefully, can I go this way? Take a bubble bath. Can we now make it around? <sighs> I haven't moved the bed. Does this person play test their houses when they're made? I, w I just wonder. Because this is being a total pain in my pahuki. That she cannot make it around half the stuff in the house. 
Maybe I need to move this. Let me see. If I leave the bed there, but I move this, can she make it through now? No, not the TV. Uh, nope, they do not play test these houses. Okay, well. I guess I should have also play tested the house, but I assume that they do. And so far, they have not. Because I went and I redecorated the house. Because I was excited to play this, but... I'm assuming this ain't gonna work. All right, can we go here now? Okay. For some reason, there's a pathing issue and they have to go through here, so I'll have to move around where that bed is at. But now let's have Ariel take a bubble bath. Hopefully they can make it to there. Also, look at this bathroom, though. How aquatic, because Eric loves a good water theme. So Ariel's gonna go ahead and take her nice little bubble bath. <laughs> it should be a requirement for the gallery. Mm. I feel like for some people who build that the aesthetics is the most important part for them. Probably. But I'm somebody who plays the household, and I like for things to work. Because I plan on having families in here and everything like that. Will there be a Vanessa? I don't know, River. Or Rivera. Riveri. Maybe you should hold tight, and we'll see if there will be a Vanessa. <laughs> oh, you can't even hear her, but she is so excited over the bathtub. This no voice thing has been amazing. Like, look at her. Like, I love how it legit doesn't let her have a voice. Like, she's still excited. And you can see she's excited, but she just doesn't get a voice. And I think that is so cool. So uh, she's about to finish up her little bath. And they are giving her new clothes because obviously she showed up with none. So let's go take a look at Ariel's new wardrobe from now on. Oh my gosh, she doesn't even have a voice in Creatism! All right, so here is her new everyday look. Look at her. Look at her big bow. I love this. Oh my gosh. Also, as you can see, the hair, like, it also has now a new part back to it because there are two versions uh, of this hair that I got. It's by Josh Seo. J-O-S-H-S-E-O-H, -S Josh, Josh Yeo, Josh Yeo. Um, so there is the wild version where her hair is down, and then there is the version that has the bow in it. So it gets like a pulled back section, which I absolutely love. Uh, her blue dress is one of my favorites. Yes, I love the blue dress. Her new formal look, which she will be dining with them in the pink dress because she wears this dress to go dine with them when they have dinner together. So this is her new formal attire. Her new athletic wear is going to be this green dress. And she also has the ability to wear this other version of the blue dress. But also a green dress like this. Her new sleepwear is going from this to this, which is like her pink dress from the movie. Her party wear is now the purple dress she wears in the second Little Mermaid. So she has a purple dress that she wears in the second Little Mermaid movie. Also, you, as you can see here, I have her hair pulled up in a fancy buzz made by, or made, but the hair is made by Buzzard. Um, they have three versions of Ariel's hair by Buzzard. They have the bun, 
they have her hair in a ponytail and they also have her hair long but i didn't care for their aerial long hair so but yeah and then her swimwear will stay the same she'll have the same swimwear that she had before and her hot weather outfit is now the lovely green or the lovely uh, sparkly dress that she comes out of the water in at the end of the movie so now she has the sparkly green dress that she wears out of the water and her cold weather is just going to be this like seafoam green dress um, because she doesn't really have a cold weather outfit. So I just gave her this to wear when it's really cold outside. So it's just the ocean aerial kind of a color. Um, the uh, A lot of the art for Ariel when she's in a fancy princess dress likes to be like a green dress like this. So I just put her in one like this. But there she is guys also i do have for her every day the yellow dress that she wears at the beginning of the second movie i do also have this as a dress option for her as well is her yellow dress from the little mermaid 2 which i love that dress and she has her hair down in a ponytail for this look and i love it i'm so excited guys i'm so excited to get into this all without further ado let's go looks like i'm gonna have to do some cc shopping yes kids soon uh duplica duplica um stargaze buzzard those are all some pretty good places to find uh disney cc especially stargaze stargaze likes to find a whole bunch of other people's stuff and also share it onto her tumblr and stuff so looking for getting disney cc stargaze and i believe it's stargaze i want to say and duplica duplica has stopped making disney cc like, they retired as a CC creator, but they're the ones who made that, uh, some of her other, like, the, the yellow dress, for instance. All right, so now that she is done with her bath, they are going to have Ariel come, uh, to dinner with them. So, I'm gonna have Louis, the chef. Oh, why are you embarrassed? Oh, no, he walked in on Ariel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at Max sitting here. So I'm going to have Louis the chef come make a meal for them. Oh, I don't think I have a sink in here. Oops, I think I forgot to add a sink. I'll go back and do that. Cook. Obviously, we got to make some sort of fish dinner. Steamed fish. Yeah, let's do this. I'll just have to get a sink here. Because I did, by the way, I did uh, redesign a lot of the interior of this house because you guys know how I do. I always redesign uh, things to look more how I would prefer them to look. So the interior, oops, as you can see, I left a counter. The interior of this house did change um, a little bit because... Y'all know me. I always got to redesign things how I see fit. So I think we'll put here as their little sink. Save. Fish dinner. I, okay, Gee, think about it though. What do you think Ariel ate underwater? What was her diet consisting of? Do you think she's only eating kelp down there? Wrong. She's got to eat some sort of. There's got to be some level of cannibalism. I'm convinced. Okay. Also, uh, technically she was going to eat crab um, the night that they were having dinner together. Oh, look at Max just laying there. Oh, love it. Eric is really sad from seeing a mounted fish. They were eating the shrimp. <laughs> Hey! 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 No, put that down! No. You were not supposed to be eating that yet. You're supposed to just be exploring around the castle, okay? How about you come look at this? Listen to some music. Huh? Eric and Grimsby, why don't you come sit and talk with her? While Louis <laughs> finishes making up the food. Oh, yes. It doesn't hurt because you're dead. <laughs> Makosa. You are a level yeah, okay. He's oh yeah, he's a <laughs> gourmet cook as well, so Louis knows what he's doing. Uh 
Oh, would you look at that? Mm hmm. Delicious looking. All right. Oops. And then, Louie, why don't you also go ahead and make something for dessert? I should have cooked a gourmet meal. Gourmet. I'll make a gourmet dessert. Baked Alaska. Let's go for that. Make some baked Alaska, Louie. She goes back after three days and I'm like, hey, where's my pals? <laughs> no, Ariel, you're not supposed to explore the rest of the castle. I told you to go listen to music. Well, anyways, now I would need you to come. Oh, no. Teleport here. Set the two of you, because I don't know what you guys are out playing and on doing. I would like, ugh, who's been eating food? Um. Sit. Grimsby sits here, and Ariel sits here. All right, obvious to me, I'm gonna have to turn off autonomy for a second, just to make sure my Sims listen to me. There we go, there we go. All right, now we're cooking with peanut oil. Okay, and now each of you may go ahead and grab a serving. Oh, her laugh, she can't even laugh. Hey, I'm not talking to you. Yes, sure, you can like mixology, that's fine. So kind of they're doing a little bit of a dinner together. They're chatting and getting to know one another. Ariel is just loving learning to be a human. Obviously, she has now figured out that a dingle hopper is not used for brushing her hair, but is instead used for eating with. Though she is excited to use a dingle hopper and learn more about human objects as she's here. Hey, hey, now why do you guys get up after you're done eating? No, this is not a job for you guys. This is a job for Carlotta. Or if anything, Grimsby, but Carlotta is supposed to be the house servant, so. I don't know, somewhere. Um, so Eric invites Ariel um, to go on a tour of his castle. Carlotta, if you could please go ahead and put that away, thank you. And since it's pretty late still, they go ahead and show Ariel to her room upstairs. She will be sleeping here. So she's gonna go take a little bit of a sleep, just a little one, and then we'll go on that tour. She's tipsy. Carlotta, are you tipsy? Oh, you are 100% tipsy, Carlotta. Who said you could go get tipsy? I most certainly did not. Carlotta. <laughs> and then Ariel is on the way up to her room. on her phone as always why is there why is that there she gets into her beautiful little nightgown they gave her and comfortably takes a nice little sleep oh look at her she's so happy she's having such a good time and i love that for her Mira, thank you so, or Mariah, thank you, sorry, I don't know why I said Mira. Mariah, thank you so much for that follow, I appreciate it. Casey and JC, thank you for the follow as well. And so Eric and Grimsby are kind of in here having a little bit of a conversation. They'll be like, Eric, the world wants to see you uh, settle down with a nice girl. And Eric's like, Grimsby, I would love to, but I want to settle down with the girl I heard singing that saved me from drowning, Grimsby. I don't know where she's at, but I'm going to find her. And when I hear her voice, I'm going to know. I will know, Grimsby, that that's the girl for me. He's like, yeah, Ariel's cute and all, but I don't really think she's the one, Grimsby. She can't even speak. How could that possibly be Ariel? And Grimsby like, Eric, we just want to see you happy. You need to find a lady. I'm going to find one for you if you don't. And Eric's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, Grimsby. Whatever you say, Grimsby. He's like, I ain't having no babies, but it'll be a sad day. 
I love going off their thought bubbles every now and then. Rebecca and Dakota, thank you so much for the follows, by the way. Also, whatever that is, thank you for the follow. <laughs> but Eric's like, Grimsby. Muffin! Mother trucker, who muffined me? <gasps> and they were so scared, they anonymously muffined me? How dare you? Raise your hand if you uh, got scared by the muffining in chat. Oh, I should have Eric play with uh, play with Max real quick. Because Eric loves his dog. He's very loyal to his dog. Like. Melissa H., welcome. I see you have joined. You lurking around? Well, I'm fixing your I did. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh, look at him play with Max! Oh, it's so perfect! It's so cute! Just like in the movie. We love it. We love to see it. He went back into the fire on the ship for Max. He would die for Max. And he almost did. I love... Uh, I think sheep dogs, um, old English sheep dogs, are beautiful dogs. But I could, I don't think I can, I can't get another dog that this, that's that fluffy. Look at Max, he's so cute. All right, so Ariel shall now be arising from her slumber, and Carlotta has now assigned Ariel, um, given her some clothes that she will wear for the day. So Ariel has gotten changed into those and she is ready to go on a tour of Eric's castle with her. <laughs> Not a tour of Eric's castle, but they're gonna go on a tour of Eric's uh, lands, which I think Tartosa is the perfect place to do that. Yep, and he's taking Ariel. I must say, whoever did the shopping slash making of the outfits should get a raise. <laughs> Amy and Gigi, thank you so much for the follows. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Luna, thank you so much for all the bits, sweetheart. And for the follow. Thank you, honey. <sighs> All right, so they start out on the beach. So basically, this is kind of like a little date, guys. So we need to really be trying to get to know Eric more as best as we can. So I'm going to have Ariel start by doing a couple interactions. Oh, my gosh. It was remembering the time she saw Eric in his undies. Look at her. She's trying so hard to talk to him right now. She's like, and then there was a bang, and my voice was stolen by the sea witch, and you can't understand me, but I have to get you to fall in love with me. Aw, Kitsune, thank you so much for the gifted subs. I appreciate that, because really, I dropped down. I'm now not at 235 anymore. Depressing. Thank you, though, Kitsune. So Ariel's doing her best to talk to him, though she has no voice anywhere, which is so cute. He's like, you snow, you smell like a, dink a stinky boot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's like, oh, my voice, I just can't. Um, gossip. Oh, God. I want to see what interactions can she all do. Give props. She's like, oh, but you're so nice. Affection. Give a gift. A friendly. Oh, let's give him a gift. A shell. One of our dingle hoppers. Oh, let's start by giving him a shell. I think he would like that. One of Ariel's most prized possessions. All of the stuff in her thing. Let's give him this one because it's rare. She's like, I found this for you on the beach. I think you might like it. Please like it, Eric. Okay, good. He loved it. <laughs> that should help improve our friendship. Gain, you know what to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. 
She's hysterical. Be careful so she doesn't die. No, she's very playful as of right now. Attempt to get to know Eric. Attempt to chat again. Mm -hmm. I love the animation that they made for her trying to talk to him. Oh, a hug. Ooh, can we slide a hug in there? Oh, mm. boy, Quim, sequinario. Wowie, that sim is irresistible. Ariel has a major crush on Eric. Also, I cannot be Eric and get him to talk to Ariel. I, well, actually, does it tell you if a sim can't talk to them? Eric can still say anything he wants to Ariel, which is why I'm not going to be Eric um, and have Eric talk to her, because that, to me, is cheating. If Eric goes up to her and he talks to her himself, I'm not going to complain. Like, I'm not going to stop them. I'm not going to stop him from telling her things, because it could just be him going up and being like, yeah, I once rode a horse and blah, 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 blah. So I'm not going to stop him from if he goes up to Ariel and talks to him, but I cannot have him initiate a conversation myself. So all of the attempting and talking that Ariel is going to be doing with Eric has to be done by Ariel. So I think the first thing that they should do is build a little sand sculpture together because I think that would be a good way to have them bond together. So Eric is also just like kind of taken back by Ariel's love for life. So he sees Ariel get down on the beach and instantly start playing in the sand with the little human tools that she has found there. And Eric is like, you know what? Sure, fine, I'll join in. This seems cute. Those heels on the sand. Yeah, you know, girl, especially if she just got those legs, would not be walking that nice on the sand right now. <laughs> Vicky, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. For those of you that are all watching me on TikTok right now, I am also live on Twitch. So if you would like to see the entire screen in a much more um, saturated and beautiful coloring, Please go ahead and check me out on Twitch. Also, um, Twitch is my main uh, my main channel. So if you would like to be able to get more interaction from me, especially in chat. In Twitch chat, I can see 10 to 15 comments at a time versus TikTok. I can only see two to three, uh, three to four, depending on how big somebody's chatting. Um, if you'd like to have more interaction with me and more conversation and meet the same lovely people that show up for every stream, please go ahead and check me out on Twitch. My name is Hayish Mandy, same as on TikTok. Also, I have a YouTube named Hayish Mandy as well. I have 22 other parts currently up on YouTube of this challenge of Snow White, Cinderella, Tiana, Sleeping Beauty, um, Anna Elsa, Rapunzel, Belle, Merida, and now I am on Ariel. So I've made it through 10 princesses so far. I still have four to five princesses to go. So... If you'd like to see more of this challenge, go check out my YouTube where you can find old ones, which my name is Hayish Media on YouTube as well. Those of you that come over to TikTok, tell me, or those of you that come over to Twitch from TikTok, please tell me in the Twitch comments that way we can welcome you into our club as well. All right, so they just made a beautiful sand sculpture together and Ariel is so excited about it. But now I think, let me just get rid of that. Now it is time. Aww. Ariel would totally play sea monster for a bunch of kids, or Eric would at least, minimum. All right, so we're gonna have them go walk together and explore around the town. Because in, um... Ooh, he should buy Ariel flowers. So let's have them go here together. <laughs> because, so Ariel, I feel like is definitely leading this charm. Like she gets so excited. So she starts running places and Eric just kind of has to keep up with her and uh, go wherever she wants because she's so excited to be exploring a human town right now. Why do they have to run on their phone? I hate that so much. It just takes away all the immersion. Like no one is running in on their phone. Why is that even an animation thing in the sense? Megan, thank you so much for the follow, honey. He seems fine with it. <gasps> no, the flower shop just closed. Are you kidding me? 9 a.m. to 6 p.m.? Well, it should still be open then. No. We were still in the middle of everything. No. This 
That's not fair. Sarah R, thank you so much for that YouTube sub. Thank you. I see the notification pop up. Ugh. All right, well, let's do some window shopping then. It's not even 1 p.m. How is it closed? Right? It's not fair. They knew Ariel wanted some freaking flowers and they closed. Look at Ariel. She's like, wow, look at those human dresses. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Wow. I wish you could even see. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Kids. <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Oh, it's open. It's open. Apparent. Maybe it was just a shift change. Or maybe they just didn't want to Ariel to come, I guess. Buy a flowers. Yes. Or we could buy a wedding bouquet that Ariel will eventually use. Yes, 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 yes. Eric should buy her a bouquet of While she's window shopping, we're gonna buy Ariel a bouquet of flowers, but these will be the flowers that eventually Ariel will use at their wedding. So let's do that. Um, which ones do we want? Ooh, what's Ariel? What's most in the Ariel? White roses, delicate bouquet, the pink one. So her dress is, her wedding dress is white and with little trims of green. So let's do a white delicate bouquet or the pink rose. Do we do white delicate or pink rose delicate bouquet? Both of the delicates. I think the delicates would be very sweet on her with her dress. But are we do white delicates or pink delicates? So far seeing a vote for pink. Daria, thank you so much for that follow, sweetheart. Pink. Experiment was quick with that comment. Everybody else is still thinking about it. <laughs> pink. Pink. All right, the first three comments I see are all pink. Lululu. All right, okay, I'm seeing all pinks. I'm seeing all pinks. Pinky this. Boop. Uh, do thou Saba? Uh, be oh, and also can, dead. I just wonder what kind of flowers can we also just purchase? Oh, we can purchase one simple little flower. Let's also purchase a Dahlia to give to her right now. And I will be giving it to her as a gift because Eric can do that because he's buying her flowers for that. Um, comment, thoughts, gossip, what? Hobbies, interests, small talk, stories, affection. Give a gift. Friendly gift. The pink rose bouquet. Sha la 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 bye oh bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking? How do that? <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna be giving her. We'll just pretend he actually gave her the bouquet itself, but he gave her the bouquet of flowers and she's very excited about them. And can I just click on the flower itself as an instant give gift? No, of course not. Because that'd be too nice. All right, so now what do they do? Do they, is this just wedding cake? Oh, order food. Yeah, let's have them, he's going to order them. Uh, what should he give Ariel to try? Wedding cake is too on the nose. Let's give her a berry macaron. So let's have her go sit here while Eric orders her some food. What a beautiful box. <laughs> So he tells Ariel to go take a seat on the bench while he goes and brings her a surprise. <laughs> and he's so excited about him. Alright, sorry, I just wanted to make sure that Ariel would get them. So pretend that he handed them to her. There we go, see? And she's like, wow, well, what is this? This looks absolutely delicious. Oh, look at her little face as she eats it. She's so happy right now. Ah, as a, as a lady comes and sits in front of her. 
So go ahead and talk to Eric and try and tell him how yummy it was and how excited she is. Oh gosh, their friendship's really high up. Okay, so we can try and start flirting with him. Because their friendship is actually pretty decent right now. Wait a second. Okay, in the movie, excuse me. Does Ariel have a dancing skill? Uh, freaking course she doesn't. Eric, do you? You do. God bless you. So in the movie, when they're in town, Ariel starts hearing music playing and decides that she wants to go dancing with Eric. So let me see. Let me see if I can find a wide open place. Kind of hopefully they'll try it right here. And so let's Oh, Ariel's feeling flirty right now. She is feeling so flirty. Okay. So Ariel heals music, hears music playing in the town during a little montage of him showing her her castle. And they do do a couple's dance together. I think I always use this one because it's always the best for us. And let me go ahead and turn the music off for this. That way, um... You guys don't hear the actual music play because I don't want a copyright strike. Oh, and you guys want me to save, so I'm gonna save because I haven't saved in it. You're right. This is the cutest thing ever. I'm obsessed. Heidi, I'm glad you're liking this. Yeah, I'm doing the Disney Princess Challenge right now, and it's been so much fun going through and doing all of this for Ariel's challenge. Uh, this stream will be up on YouTube within the next 24 to 48 hours. So if you missed any part of this stream and want to see the whole Ariel signing the contract with Ursula deal, because that was really cool, uh, look out for that on YouTube and go follow me on YouTube so you don't miss this video when it goes up. All right. Tall and tan and young and lovely, the girl from Ipanema goes walking. <laughs> Hopefully people won't get in the middle of their dancing the whole time. So Ariel always, by the way, she was always infatuated by couples dancing and people dancing. So I think Ariel getting to dance with Eric was like scratching something off her bucket list. You know, she was like, oh, wait, how does it go in the song? I got to find the verse in my head. Oh, can anybody help me out with the verse I'm looking for about them dancing? My brain can't come up with the song in my head right now. I'm blanking because I've got too much going on. If people wouldn't keep walking in the middle of them dancing, this would be so much cuter. Oh, wait, I need to get a screenshot. Oh, my God, this is adorable. Oh, my God. I love this. This is so cute. Jacob! <laughs> Hi! Thank you! What's my YouTube? My YouTube is HeyishMandy, same as TikTok, same as Twitch. I am HeyishMandy on all platforms. Oh, this is so beautiful! I love this. Sorry, I gotta get a good screenshot for thumbnails, you guys know. Look at this! Oh, this makes me so happy! I wish you guys could hear music, but... It's totally fine without it, too. Not the Sims screaming behind them being just like me right now with all my screaming about how adorable this is. Oh, the dip and dive. Look at how happy she is. She is having such a blissful moment right now. She's like, I'm dancing. <laughs> Oh, oh I'm, so <laughs> I'm so glad she got to do her dance with Eric. I'm so happy right now, girl. I love Disney so much. And being able to uh, act it out in my Sims. Cherry on top. Cherry on top. I really do enjoy it. I've been following you since the beginning of your Disney save. Oh, I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> Walking around a, what do you call it? Oh, baby. Oh, wait. I want to see 
want to see him dancing. <laughs> so she got to dance. Thank you guys so much for helping me out with the lyrics. <laughs> I want to see, want to see him dancing, walking around our house. What do you call me? Oh. <laughs> oh, get your phone out. Ugh. All right, what else, what else should they do? Is there anything else that they can do on this royal tour of his kingdom? Or do we have to move on to our next attraction? I think that's all the things you can technically do besides some more window shopping and another place to eat. I think that's all you can really do here. Besides go hang out on the beach again. Oh, look, another king in the kingdom. All right, with that, I think it's time to move on. I'm just making sure I covered my bases and I did all the things. I think it's now time to go to uh, the Kiss the Girl Lagoon, which is over here. Out of the sea, so dirty I'll be. <laughs> Where is Prince Eric's castle? Oh, it's in here. We got it. Don't worry. The phones for Sims should be an option. Yes, I wish you could just click them off. Ugh. All right, I wish. I truly wish that I could have them sitting in the boat. But I can't, sadly. Um, I wonder, Sims for boat chair. Has somebody made that? <gasps> no, they did not. Could have done it. Wait, hold on. Oh. Okay, I see how they did it. Actually, it's a platform they put in the middle of a pool, and they have chairs that the Sims can go into, but I, of course, haven't done that. And this is a pond, so that's not going to work. Oh. Uh. Uh. For next time, I'm not that savvy. I wish I was. Out of curiosity, can I quickly do that? Okay, okay. The only problem is I don't think they can swim out to it. Nope, that that's already not gonna work. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, oh, I'm breaking things. I'm ruining things. Never mind. Okay, doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So in the meantime, I guess we'll just have to come sit. Ah, <laughs> oh, I wanted them to be able to sit in it, but we have we are we do have them at the lagoon. Well, maybe I don't want them to sit. Maybe I want them to stand here and get to know each other a little bit. Is there any other cool place? <gasps> we'll have them go swing. Push someone on swing. Ariel. There. Ariel would love to do this. Floof? I like how we can see Trident's castle Mina. from here. If only freaking Trident knew that his daughter was just right over here. <laughs> I feel like Ari Eric can see Ariel wanting to have all these experiences and really just be like, oh, hey, check this out sit here and ariel's like why what's gonna happen and he's like "Wee!" <laughs> i just love how you can't hear ariel at all that really helps with the immersive thing of her just not being able to talk i love better mermaids mop it's amazing mm. are you gonna bring sebastian over 
I guess I should, shouldn't I? Hey, Sebastian, real quick, can you, how good are you at singing? Real good. Yeah, can you just go here real quick? All right, now, Sebastian, can you practice singing? Just for the vibes. Set the mood, Sebastian. <laughs> Can you get another song? <laughs> is there a flounder? Yes, there is. My neighbor says one kiss at the romance festival is worth 10 anywhere else. Flounder really just be popping up. Sebastian's giving me frog vibes. <laughs> do we go or do we stay here? Do we go? It's a sign, go to it. I need more opinions. Bring Eric, go. Well, of course I'm bringing Eric. Flounder's just being our wingman. Experiment. Sha la 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 la. <laughs> All right, you guys are saying that we should go. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring Eric along with us. I guess Sebastian, sure, why not? Go ahead there and set the vibes too. Maybe he can find a microphone and Sebastian can sing on that there. <laughs> More places to explore for Ariel. Yeah, true though. It's just another fun place. It's just more of Eric's kingdom. We just didn't see it all. That's the only difference. Yeah, that's the story we're going with. <laughs> oh no. Y'all, this is going to be in my head all night. Experiments is going to be walking around their house going, sha la 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 la. <gasps> The only goal of the Hubert hygiene, or, oh, the only goal of the romance festival is to kiss someone at the end of it. The only goal, it's like my game knows what we're doing. My game heard me yelling at it for not being scripted enough earlier, and now it's being scripted. Oh my God, I just realized I'm five minutes away from end of stream. All right, I will do the Humor Hijinks Festival, but I swear I better get at least five subs for going over out of the kindness of my heart. Because if I end stream now when they're at the festival, it will not pop back up later. So, I'm just saying, I'm being real nice right now. <laughs> I would like some repayment. <laughs> All right. Flounder, buddy. Thank you, Flounder, for being the real MVP here, okay? Thank you for inviting us. Okay, what should Eric and Ariel do? Oh, look at Eric getting all dolled up. Too bad I don't care. <gasps> Chosen. Thank you. Thank you for that. 
<laughs> Again, I'm being nice. <laughs> Diamond, why are you volunteering others? Oh, Winnie. Winnie. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, sweetheart. Y'all are too sweet. <laughs> Thanks for making my night. All right. But Eric, I don't want you dressed up. <laughs> I want you back in the same outfit that you were, and Ariel, I want you back in the same outfit that you were. No special clothing required. Please and thank you, your original outfits were sufficient. Because I'm broke. <laughs> I understand, Diamond. I wasn't being for real. <laughs> okay, what should we do? Ooh, is there, is there, oh, there's a flirty potion we need to drink. Is that Elsa? Elsa should be dead. Oh, you, yep. Okay, apparently Elsa came back as our romance guru. <gasps> Poor Sakura tea together. Now I'll be real with you guys. I don't go to the romance festival very often, so I don't know what I should all be doing here. <laughs> please, if you received a gifted sub, please say thank you. It's about time I subbed. Thank you, Winnie. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for subbing. You're so sweet. People who sub on their own accord. You love it. <laughs> oh God. Oh God, you guys are all getting some. I thought Ariel would be the one to come do, it was that Anastasia? Is that Anastasia? Anastasia! Look at you in your gown. What a girl. No, flounder, no, flounder. This is not about us. I wanted Ariel to go for the soccer tea. Ariel, please stop being hysterical. <laughs> Kitsune, thank you so much for the subs! Kitsune, you didn't have to. You've already been so nice tonight. Thank you. Oh! My Amazon sub isn't up. No worries, no worries. Hey! You guys, Drizella and Anastasia are here together. Maybe they're working on their sisterly bond. Let me get them in their actual fits though. Oh, it's so nice seeing the stepsisters together. This should be up on YouTube within the next 24 hours, if I'm quick, which I should be quick today. Hopefully. I'm all caught up on my other stuff, except I need to post the second Hunger Games, which I will be doing tonight after I'm done streaming. And then I should have this, because I can't post this before 24 hours, because I have to wait full 24 hours before I'm allowed to legally post it on YouTube after Twitch streaming, so that's about it. All right. Ariel, romantic. She can just offer him a rose. Which makes sense. It's wordless. The oh. <laughs> oh, that rose really did a number on their on their romance. Ariel, okay, I know that doesn't take a voice, but don't you think try for babies a little much? Maybe you just give them a hug. So they have nearly a full friendship bar. Aw, she's like giving him a hug like she's saying, thank you so much for um, being so kind to me and showing me around your kingdom. Physical intimacy. I feel like she couldn't, she wouldn't kiss his hands because, you know, that's cheating. She can't mess around or try for a baby. Um, And then she can't give him another rose. So that's like only the flirty interactions she can do with him. So I feel like I want their friendship completely up. Gossip, give compliments, give props, affection. Throw petals. Aww. Aww, look at her! 
dessert. She's throwing petals and having the time of her life. Look, I just can't get over how sweet Ariel is. She's just the sweetest. And Eric is having so much fun. I don't think Eric, Prince Eric, realized he could have this much fun. You know, they're just going around being so silly together. And Eric is having the time of his life with Ariel. <laughs> I think he is, you know, he's starting to fall in love with her. He's thinking, you know what, maybe I don't need that girl that was singing to me on the beach, which is Ariel, but he doesn't know that. He's like, maybe, maybe I should. Maybe I should fall in love with this woman here. In a bread. So I love how she just tries to talk, but she gets so discouraged that she doesn't have a voice. It's so sad. You did not just ask Ariel. No. Don't, Ariel. No, don't fall for that man. Don't. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You, no, no. Don't you dare come in here and take advantage of our Ariel. Mm, mm, mm. You gotta be careful around here. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I can't really do anything else romance-wise, but I just want to get their friendship bar all the way up. And then I should let them have a good time for a second. All right, where is... Is there a, uh, a microphone anywhere by chance? I would think that- oh my god, that's one of Ariel's sisters! Nope, skip prom. We don't need prom. Oh, speaking of, I think Ariel's still a teen. I mean, she is 16 in her movie, but, you know, before she marries Eric, I'd like her to age up. A little bit. Go talk to Elsa, I mean the romance guru. Ariel can't talk to her. Yeah, Ariel can't talk to her, but Eric can. Ooh, yes, he should accept. <gasps> Eric just flirted with Ariel. Wait a second. What just happened to their romance bar? <gasps> that one man ruined it. No, I'm gonna pull it back up to 45 where it was. It was that far up. The other guy just ruined it. Because he flirted with Ariel right in front of him. Is she giving him advice? Ask about your romantic destiny. Request their advice. Friendly. Romantic. It's just... Yeah, I think that's about it. Is she giving us advice? She's talking to us about love, but I want to know what she says. Is she going to tell me what she says? I want a relationship advice from Elsa. Right, though? <laughs> to love or not to love, that is the question. That does not help me. All right, well... Um, so what's gonna happen here is Ursula slipped Eric a potion that would make him uh, have to go to the bathroom and leave the event because obviously I can't have them be in a boat and the eels flip the boat to ruin their date. So we're gonna say this is how uh, Ursula sabotages their date because she could tell that Eric was really gearing up to give Ariel a kiss. He was flirting with her. He was getting it on and she's like, this is too close. So she slipped some in his drink and made it so he has to use the bathroom. Um, and like his stomach's upset. So now they have to go back home. And we did not get to kiss the girl. And so now they're all gonna go head back home. Ariel has finished another day. Um, we've made it through all of Saturday. And so we only have a couple more days to get everything figured out. So hopefully, when we come back, some drama starts to occur. 
Um, for those of you that are watching on TikTok and Twitch right now, if you have not followed me on those platforms, please go ahead and do so. I'm about to end my life. I do have to do a raid, so I will be making sure I do that here at the end. Um, but yes, for those of you who have not already, I am... I have a Twitch, a TikTok, and a YouTube. My name is Hey Schmady across all those platforms. So please make sure you are following over there. All right, Ariel is really feeling the flirt. Sebastian, thank you so much for all your help, but you can kind of get out of here. I don't need you anymore. Some parents maintain some moose and other household. Go live with your friend Scuttle. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. All right, and Ariel is gonna go back to the castle. And her room is over here. So we're gonna have Ariel go to bed. Let's see. <laughs> Last I saw, it was still left up to me as to whom I wanted to raid. So let's do this person. <laughs> all right reminder if you're not following me on tiktok twitter youtube my name is hey on all those platforms i will be going live again on wednesday at 7 p.m eastern standard time um i should be yeah so Please go ahead and wait until I go live then. I should be uploading this stream upload to YouTube within the next 24 hours, so be on the lookout for that. Um, in the meantime, you can watch the rest of this series if you have not seen any parts of it already, but I'll be heading out. Thank you so much uh, for everything. I have had a lot of fun. <coughs> Excuse me, not me coughing at the end too, but let's get this raid on the way. As soon as this raid is ready to go, I'm going to be peacing out, but I will be seeing you guys all again very, very shortly. I'll see you guys all on Wednesday. I love you so much. Have a wonderful time. This has been so fun. Bye! <laughs>